Oh, let's just, oh, I committed, I went for it. That's so sad. I'm just like beheading all of these club troopers. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Nikki, and I have a really, really fun video for you guys today. I am super excited to help announce a new website that is gonna be launching called battlepacks.net that I truly, truly believe is going to be a really, really fun Lego community building site. And I'll show you guys a little bit about what they have to offer. I have a few blind bags to open with you guys here that I'm really hyped about because I have no idea what's inside. Not to mention, stick around to the end to enter a little Ahsoka show themed giveaway in preparation for the new show launching. So we've all heard of minifigure blind bags, okay? They, on they honestly, they don't always go great. I myself have entered them before, gotten a few blind bags. Guess what? They were all droids and it was the most discouraging, kind of irritating thing I've done. A total waste of money. This, however, is a little bit different. These blind bags, no droids. Unless it is a cool and desirable droid like Cad Bane's Toto 360, who is a possibility to get and who I also love. So this here is called the 501st Blind Bag. The name, the image, I mean, pretty self-explanatory. Every drop will have a rotation of certain minifigures, the inclusion of some new ones as they're introduced to LEGO Star Wars, possibly taking some away. It's gonna be like a constant circuit so that you're never really bored of what's coming in these blind bags. So every drop, there will be 501. Each blind bag is $15. And with each blind bag, you have the chance to get a single minifigure from one of the four tiers of figures. And this is where it gets really, really exciting. So these figures are either going to be common, uncommon, rare, or one of one. Now that one of one is the most special part of this entire drop. I honestly, I just think that this is really fun. I love to play games and I really love this tiered system. The design of it, like it's Lego Star Wars, the game itself is also really, really cool for me because I am a big fan, totally obsessed with playing that game. There are the common minifigures, which are under $10. And you, these are all still very, very cool figures that I personally, even having a lot of these would still really love to get. I can see the Dark Trooper, Sith Trooper, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Phase one clone trooper commander. Even Fennec is in there, Bit Fortuna. Now, if we move up a little bit, you have your chance, equal chance, no matter which blind bag you're getting, to get the uncommon figure. So these ones are just over $10. There's Ton Wei, who's a really, really great one. Gamorrean Guard is also a really good one that I would actually really love to get more of. So maybe if I'm lucky, I got one of them in here. And then you move up into the rare tier. And now this is where it gets a little bit more exciting. Okay, you have your possibility to get Cad Bane. There's Omega, Commander Cody, Phase 2, 332nd, Bulio. I mean, some great minifigures here as well. And now if you notice, the most desirable minifigure on this entire page that we are looking at here all the way to the right is the $300 Ahsoka Tano minifigure. I am talking set 75158 Ahsoka Tano. Basically a minifigure that I have always wanted to get and have never been able to afford unless I was fortunate enough to actually get her in one of these blind bags. Why don't we go ahead and open some of these blind bags? The one thing I really hate to say is we're going to have to rip it. <laughs> it's a really, really cool bag and I kind of don't want to do it, but let's just, oh, I committed. I went for it. Oh, but it's really exciting. Okay. <gasps> okay. It's impossible to be disappointed when you get bo as a minifigure in a blind bag. Oh my gosh. That's a good one to start with, okay. bo she was my first figure. What tier did we get? We got an uncommon figure. Okay, we got the green tier. Oh my goodness, that's a pretty cool one. All right, one figure down. Okay, here comes the second one. Oh, it hurts. It hurts to rip it open like that. <laughs> Phase two, 187th Clone Trooper. I've actually always really, really liked these ones, so that was another uncommon figure. So two over $10 figures so far. That's pretty good. Okay, ready? Here comes number three. Hey, it's a Dark Trooper. Okay, all right, I'm pretty pleased with that. I like these guys a lot. Two more figures. I wouldn't be unhappy if I got another Fennec. I wouldn't feel bad if I ended up with the $300 Ahsoka. Honestly, can't be disappointed with another 332nd either, so I'd be pretty happy with one of them. I'm just like beheading all of these globe troopers. <gasps> Whoa, got the Inquisitor, the Grand Inquisitor. That's actually really sick. Okay, that was my first rare figure in the 501st pack. Oh, we only have one more. Who do I want? Who do I want? If I got Commander Cody, that would actually be pretty great. 
I do love Commander Cody, but I already got a rare figure. I got, I've gotten pretty lucky. I'm gonna say I have to get a common one next. Oh, jeez. That's <laughs> so sad. <gasps> okay, we got a common one. I got a Mandalorian. Mandalorian Tribal Warrior in blue. There we go. Those were my figures. That was pretty fun. I just love these bags. That, like, it makes the whole process even more enjoyable. Just hold, okay, let me hold it. Here's an unused one. This is an empty bag. This is like marketing at its finest. For Lego Star Wars people, for Star Wars people in general, this is a killer. Most of these figures are figures that you love to get duplicates of. Like even the Dark Trooper, we built our own like extended hallway and just filling it up with as many Dark Troopers as we can get for Luke Skywalker to slaughter is just perfect. Got another 187th Trooper, got another Mandalorian. Like I am literally just army building. I believe the next thing that we're gonna be doing on this website is they're going to do a retired sets drop. I will be present for that. Maybe I'll do a live stream for you guys there as well. I just find this idea to be really cool. This is the card, Battle Packs. Really, really sick. In general, I also think this is just gonna be a cool way for you and I to kind of get to do something new together, hang out, but I know many of you are just sticking around for this. So assuming you've already put in your email on the website or you're gonna do it after this so that you're up to date, you're notified when there's a drop coming because it's gonna be more than just these blind bags, okay? Just put your email in there. Let's get to the giveaway now. So in honor of the new Ahsoka show dropping on the 22nd, we are doing a little Ahsoka themed giveaway. So it's gonna be the Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack, the 332nd, and the little Ahsoka Tano Brickheads as well. I would love to keep it just exclusive to YouTube. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do two drops. I'm gonna do one for you guys and I'm gonna do one over on my Instagram page. However, I kinda need to host both of them through my Instagram, not because I wanna force you guys to follow me. You don't have to do that, but feel free. But because I need to be able to contact you if you win and I cannot do that through here. It's just easier through the Instagram. So for practicality reasons, I need you guys to go to my Instagram, it's Nikki Bricks, and I need you to comment on this photo right here. And I want you to comment either what you are most looking forward to in the Ahsoka show, or a really, really fun or interesting fan theory that you have about what's going to happen. And if you comment them down below here, I will respond to each and every one of you because I love to talk about fan theories and all of the Star Wars things, and I am nervously excited for this show. So go ahead, drop a comment here as well as over on the Instagram if you want to enter to win the Ahsoka show little themed giveaway. I'm afraid for this first giveaway, I'm gonna have have to leave it exclusive to the United States only. But for future giveaways, I really hope I can open that up internationally. But for this first drop, you guys, it's just gonna have to be US only. Winner will be announced via my Instagram on Friday, the 25th of August. I will message you directly if you won through my account, again, Nikki Bricks. And if you wanna increase your chances of winning, I am doing a second giveaway, same two sets, just a few days later, and that will be exclusively on my Instagram. You'll be able to see it there. It'll be a probably similar set of rules. Put your email into battlepacks.net because you do not want to miss these drops you guys I'm telling you it's only gonna get more exciting there are so many fun plans for the future now the battle pass is a subscription that costs $9.99 a month and is honestly in my opinion like the most appealing part of this website if you are a battle pass holder say you also get the two blind bags which <laughs> I've already butchered. These would only cost $10 each as opposed to 15. So instead of being 30, these would be 20 and the battle pass would be another 10. So there's your 30. That $10 is applied to a whole array of other perks like the new store that they are also gonna be opening that I am personally really, really excited about. This is gonna be something that hopefully I will be visiting a lot once it's released because it's basically going to be a retail priced Lego heaven. One thing I know that they discussed releasing was the UCS Slave One, which is a set that I would definitely really, really love to get for retail price. They are releasing sets for retail price and that is gonna be available to everyone. However, if you are a Battle Pass holder, then you will get a further discount on top of that. So not only would you be paying retail price for a UCS set, but you would also be getting a little bit of a discount on that, which I don't know, would at the very least probably pay for shipping which is just absolutely mind boggling to me. There's also the fact that they do have a BrickLink associated store. And so you would also be getting a discount code for that if you are a Battle Pass holder. They also advocate unlimited access to future drops. So I don't know if in the future that means they would be doing um, certain exclusive ones. That's a mystery to me, but I, this is the exciting thing for me about this shop, about this new website, 
is that they have so many ideas and they have so much direction and I can see the reward that both parties get which makes it you know kind of a sensible deal when you really break down the math of it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this goes and I'm really hyped about it because I think it's just such a cool project. But anyway if you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget to hit that like button it means the world to me. Subscribe down below if you want to stay up to date on this stuff if you want to see my other Lego Star Wars content, Star Wars stuff in general. Don't forget to enter the giveaway over on my Instagram and comment down below if you want to have a nice chat with me here. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time.